Hey guys, welcome back. It's Millie. And as you can see from the title, I'm gonna be making ramen. Yeah. I really like ramen and if you've never had it, ramen is a soup dish traditionally made in Japan, which has a very rich umami and savory flavor. The one that I'm making is actually taken from uh, loveisinthetummy.com and I have made several changes from the original recipe. So I'll also have that noted below so you can follow along. Creamy, spicy, umami, savory, filling. It is so freaking good. I love ramen so much. So I really want you to try this recipe. It is so good for these days in Houston, Texas, where it's 50 degrees. Ha, I know that's not really that cold, right? But to me, it's cold because I'm used to 90s and 100s. Y'all know who it is. So let's get to the recipe. Here is a quick look at all of the ingredients, which I will go over in more detail. Start with the mushrooms and the seaweed, and you're just gonna soak this in water to make the dashi stock. Then you're gonna grab some tofu, cut it how you desire. I just kind of like cutting it uh, a particular way. This is a half block, and then I'm gonna make kind of small sections. Uh, once the stock has steeped long enough, at least 30 minutes to an hour, uh, you're gonna cook it for a short amount of time. I don't know, about five minutes. Once it's ready and has a little simmer, strain everything out. And now you're going to dump the stock out. These mushrooms can be used for toppings if you desire. So you're going to go ahead and start the noodles in a hot pan for the tofu. Starting with some type of oil or vegetable stock going to add some oil to this pan so we could start cooking everything. Add the ginger and garlic to the pot with oil. Now you're going to add the white portion of the green onions. You could see here in this bowl, I've mixed a couple different things, the chili paste, the white miso, the soy sauce or liquid aminos, and some mirin. And I mix it in this container first beforehand because otherwise it will kind of clump up in this pot, especially the miso. So it's easier to mix it together separately first and then add it to the pot. Stir. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the sesame seeds. and some soy milk. Make sure it's unsweetened, because if you get a sweetened version, it'll make the stock taste a little weird, which I've done before. 
Just going to stir this up a little bit. Add some salt and pepper to your liking. Add the dashi stock back in. So once your pan is hot, start go ahead and start cooking the tofu. And you kind of do this to your liking. I like mine crispy. So I'm going to cook them probably five minutes on each side. Here's the noodles and I'm going to go ahead and cook this based on the package directions. This package says it's for four servings, but uh, I'm making this for two because we like a lot of noodles. So this is an optional step. Uh, you could add more soy milk or vegetable broth if you just wanted to add a little bit more liquid to this. Make sure you check on everything, make sure that it's all cooking well. Flip tofu if needed. Set it aside. This is going to be one of the many toppings that's going to go on top of the ramen. Mmm, tofu. Okay, so I've assembled the, uh, the noodles in two bowls. And now I'm going to pour in all of the yummy broth, splitting it in half because this is for two servings. That looks so good. So here are some of the toppings that I'm adding. I'm adding tofu. There's some fried red onions in the middle. There's the green part of green onions. There's chili sauce. There's some more sesame seed oil. You just gotta try it now. And if you don't wanna make it yourself, try ramen bars that are around your, your area. I mean, it's a good way to get started into it. Ask me if you have any questions and check it out. Try it, and if you like it, let me know.